to talk to you about the way fireworks were when I was a kid. We would go out and of course we'd put on a lot of bug stuff and we'd go to the park and we'd sit on a blanket. I suppose they do that now. But what we saw was very different. We'd wait patiently until it got dark and then there would be a firework, a, fi a firecracker. Poof. And we would say, ooh. And then we would wait and we would see another rocket going up into the sky with a sparkling on the back. And it would take a minute or two to get up there. And we would say, ooh. And then there were the occasional cannonballs, you know, where there would just be a sharp, silvery explosion and a boom. But there weren't very many like that. Maybe three. I don't know. But they were, again, all spaced apart. And then there would be a finale where there would be more. But the finale was like maybe the way ordinary fireworks are all the time now. <laughs> The last time I went to see fireworks, it wasn't even the 4th of July. It was an alumni thing or something. And, oh, they were very smoky and very overdone, I felt. And, you know, this is a case where I feel more isn't better. I think we enjoy the fireworks more when I was a kid, when we were more naive, when we didn't have such high expectations, we saw a very simple display and that was enough. And there was less smoke because there were less explosions and the explosions were smaller. Yeah, I don't know, I, I don't know if you can go back. I don't know if you can go back to being quieter and more naive, but I think we should think about it. <laughs>